Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to solve day 11 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now, without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. So today I am going to solve problem number 1190, reverse substrings between each pair of parentheses. Okay. So in this problem, you are given a string S that consists of lowercase English letters and brackets. We have to reverse the strings in each pair of matching parentheses starting from the innermost one. Okay. And your result should not contain any brackets. Okay. So these are the constants given to us. So S dot length is uh, from 1 to 2000. Right. And S only contains lowercase English characters and parentheses. And it is guaranteed that all the parentheses are balanced. Okay. So now see this example one. Okay. So this is input string given to us and this is one open bracket and this is one closed bracket, right? So I have to reverse the string inside it. Okay, so after reversing my string is going to look like this DCBA. Okay, so now let's see example number two. So in example number two, you see one this is open bracket. This is one open bracket and then there is one closed bracket and then there is one more closed bracket. Okay, so first we have to reverse our innermost string. Okay, it is going to look like this. Uh, e then V will come then O will come then L will come okay and then write the remaining portion so here I am writing E and here I am writing U and now there are uh, these two open and closed brackets okay now after that I have to reverse this complete string so after reversing I am going to get this I love you right I am going to get this string and this is going to be my output okay so now how i am going to solve this problem okay so since uh, we are dealing with the open brackets parentheses right and it is given that uh, these parentheses are balanced every time okay and i am uh, first reversing the innermost string one by one okay so let's say there is one open bracket open bracket open bracket then there is one close bracket close bracket and then there is one more close bracket so here open bracket i am going to push this into my stack open bracket i am going to push this into my stack open bracket i am going to push this into stack this is one close bracket okay so from him here i am going to stop and until i encounter my open bracket i am going to reverse the string inside this okay so definitely i am thinking about stacks here right so how i am going to solve this problem using stack let's see now so see here first uh, as soon as i encounter this close bracket now I have to stop okay until then I have just going to push the elements into my stack one by one okay so here first is uh, open bracket so I am going to insert this open bracket here okay so I have added this open bracket now after that uh, character u is there okay so I am going to add u here then after that one open bracket is there okay so I am going to add this open bracket again here so I have added this open bracket then after that uh, L is their character so I'm just going to add this O is there I'm just going to add this V is there I'm just going to add this then after that E is there and I'm going to add this okay this is done now I have encountered one close bracket okay so I am just iterating over all the characters in my string one by one initially my I is at this position then my I reaches this position this position this position this position this position this position and now my I is at this position okay so now I have encountered one closed bracket so now what I am going to do I am going to create one string builder okay I am going to create, create one string builder and in my string builder I am going to add all the elements okay sb dot append sp dot append all the topmost elements one by one okay so first i am going to add e in my string builder then i'm going to add v in my string builder okay and side by side i'm going to remove okay i have added e then i have added v then after that i'm going to add o so here i have written o then after that i'm going to add l okay so here i have added l okay i have to do this operation until my stack is not empty and or my stack dot peak element is not equal to this open bracket okay so now this is equal to open bracket so i have to stop here okay okay this is done then after that i am going to remove the topmost element from the stack if my stack is not empty so right now my stack is not empty and the topmost element is 
open bracket okay so my if my stack is not empty i'm just going to remove the topmost element okay this is done i have removed it now i am going to push the reversed substring back to the stack okay so here first i am going to add e here okay this is first character right in my string builder this i am going to add then i am going to add v then i am going to add o then i am going to add l okay this is done i have added all the elements of my string builder here okay now after that my i is going to reach at this position and this is a character so i am simply going to add this i here okay i am simply going to i add this i here then after that i reach um, i reaches at this position closed bracket so now I, as soon as i encountered this closed bracket i am going to create one string builder and in this string builder i am going to add the elements one by one so first i am going to add i okay then i am going to remove this i then after that i am going to add l o v e u okay i am going to add all these elements one by one okay so i have added all these elements one by one this is done now again i have to check if my stack is empty or not so my stack is not empty in this case so now what i am going to do i am going to remove the topmost element which is open bracket here so i have removed this okay this is done then after that i am going to insert all these elements of my string builder one by one again into my stack okay so i have added all these elements i l okay this is l then o then v e you okay i have added all these elements okay this is done now after that once this is done then i have to iterate over my stack until my stack is not empty and i am going to create one new uh, string builder uh, name result and in this result i am going to add these all, all elements one by one so i am going to pop the elements in the first uh, I am going to pop the animals from top only. So first U, then E, then V, then O, and then L and I. Okay. In the end, I am just going to reverse this part. So after reversing, this part is going to look like this. I love you. Okay. That's it. So this is going to be my output. Right. So now I am going to write the code for this problem. And code is going to be very similar. Okay. Whatever I explained now. So first, we have to create one stack of characters. So let's do that then after that we are going to run one loop and inside this i am going to check for the character so int char c is equal to s dot char at this particular index okay so here if my character is equal to open bracket a uh, closed bracket then i have to perform few operations and in the s part if it is not equal to uh, oh, my closed bracket then in that case i am simply adding all other elements in my stack one by one now so stack dot push c right this is done okay so this is what i am doing right here uh if only i am stopping here whenever i am encountering closed bracket and all other characters i am pushing one by one into my stack okay so that's why i am writing like this okay so now once this is done now let's define the inner part of this if so here uh, first i am going to create one string builder and then i am going to pop the characters until my open bracket is found okay so here i am going to check while my stack is not empty and and okay stack dot peak is not equal to open bracket what i'm doing in that case i'm just going to add the elements in my string builder na? one by one sb dot append stack dot pop that's it that's what i'm doing right so this is done okay now if my stack is not empty then i am going to remove the open bracket as well na? So, okay once this is done then we have to push the reversed substring back to the stack okay so i have to iterate over all the characters in my string builder one by one here stack dot push sb dot caret j okay sb dot caret j okay this is done then after that okay so this is what we have to do in the this for loop okay and in the else part we are just pushing the elements whatever is there okay so once this is done 
now in the end we have to build the final result from the stack okay so here i'm going to create one new string builder string builder let's name it as result new string builder okay so here i'm going to write while my stack is not empty now in the i'm just going to append the result okay result dot append stack dot pop that's it stack dot pop okay and then in the end we have to just reverse as stack gives leaf order right so i have to just going to reverse it okay so return my result let's reverse it after reversing we have to just return the string right so to string okay this is done now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues okay so line number four let's fix it any other issues line four only okay so let's run it again so all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted right so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye